we're in a plastics pollution crisis and plastic pollution is caused by plastic production. Plastic breaks down into tiny little microplastics and now it's found in our soil and the water that we drink and the air that we breathe. It's now into the food chain and we're eating it. Um, and more recently it's been found in our blood and our placentas and now in our breast milk and we're feeding it to our babies. Because of our interconnected oceans and the global plastic supply chain, we need a treaty that matches the scale of the problem. The New Zealand government have supported a strong treaty that follows the waste hierarchy. They've mentioned refill and reuse alternatives and they've stressed the importance of Indigenous voices and Indigenous people in the negotiations and decision making. We're really happy that they've taken this strong position and that they've signed up to the High Ambition Coalition. And what we need to see now is how this intergovernmental negotiating committee is going to make Indigenous participation accessible and equitable. As Tangata Whenua and Tangata Moana, I know that my people and my ancestors have an intrinsic relationship with Papatuanaku, uh, with the Moana, um, with our environment in that we see ourselves as part of the environment and we understand that our wellness is connected so when Papa Tuanuku is unwell I know that I am also unwell. <laughs>